Hi, my East Auburn friends. Today we have a story about the entire life of your jack-o'-lantern, if you make one. I hope you like it. Pumpkin Jack by Will Hubble. When Tim carved his first pumpkin, it was fierce and funny and just perfect. A jack-o'-lantern that good deserved a name. So Tim gave him one, Jack. There he is making his face. Long after the best trick-or-treat candy was eaten, Tim still kept Jack. At night, when a candle made Jack's face dance on the wall and filled the dark with warm pumpkin smells, Tim felt Jack was almost magic. Yet too soon, the spell was broken. That pumpkin is beginning to rot, announced Mom. It's time to throw it out. Tim knew it was useless to argue. He carried Jack to the garden, which was filled with the brown ghosts of last summer's plants. I guess a dead garden is better than a trash can, thought Tim. Still, it made him sad to leave Jack outside all alone. Whenever his chores or play brought Tim to the garden, he looked at Jack. Every time Jack was different, he became wrinkled and his fierce smile began to look, well, silly. Mold spread over Jack's bright orange skin. As the days turned colder, Jack grew flatter. And winter began, and soon Jack was hidden beneath the snow, and Tim forgot all about him. The cold, heavy jacket days came, snowmen and sliding days, indoor days, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Valentine's. When all these days had passed and the March winds melted the snow, Tim found Jack. There wasn't much left, just a faded and crumpled pumpkin skin, a stem, and a few seeds. Jack's Halloween magic was a distant memory now. Tim scraped the thin blanket of earth over the last bit of his pumpkin, and he whispered, Goodbye, Jack. And when spring turned barefoot warm and tiny sprout appeared where Jack had been, Tim found it and he guessed what it was. In the days that followed, Tim weeded and watered and watched the sprout. Slowly and steadily, the plant grew and changed. It branched and spread a web of vines over the ground, but no pumpkins appeared. Then the days turned hot, and flowers opened on the plant each morning, yellow stars that twisted shut forever in the afternoon. But still, there were no pumpkins. Finally, Tim found a little green ball growing behind a crumpled blossom. A pumpkin! Tim let out a whoop and ran to show his mom. And by August, the plant had spilled onto the lawn. Tim's favorite game became pumpkin hunting. He carefully waded among the leaves, searching for green pumpkins like hidden treasures. School began again and the days cooled. Tim had less time to visit the garden. And when he did, the pumpkin plant seemed tired. There were few new leaves, and the old tatter ones no longer hid the fat green pumpkins. And then, one October morning, Tim woke to see frost coating the garden. The frozen plant seemed to change to pale blue glass. After school, Tim discovered what the frost had done. The pumpkin's plant leaves were as limp as wet paper. It was dying and Tim searched among the withered leaves for the unripe pumpkins. He picked them and put them on the front porch, hoping for one more change. By Halloween, the pumpkins had ripened to bright orange, and there were many, for the plant had been very generous, and Tim was generous too. He gave away all but one. From jack-o'-lantern to seed to pumpkin again, the circle was almost complete. Now it was time for Tim to do his part. He gave his pumpkin a face. It smiled at him in a fierce and funny way, and Tim smiled too. And then he said, Welcome back, Jack. Boys and girls, I hope you like that story of your jack-o'-lantern's whole life. I'm probably going to be carving my jack-o'-lantern today or tomorrow because Halloween is really close. I hope you all have a very happy, very safe Halloween. Bye-bye.